welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Saturday, January 9th, the Saturday before the baptism of the Lord. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Holy God, creator of light and giver of goodness, your voice moves over the waters. Immerse us in your grace and transform us by your spirit that we may follow after your son, Jesus Christ, our savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now we turn to the words of Holy Scripture Today our readings begin in Psalm 29. Acknowledge the Lord, you heavenly beings. Acknowledge the Lord's majesty and power. Acknowledge the majesty of the Lord's reputation. Worship the Lord in holy attire. The Lord's shout is heard over the water. The majestic God thunders. The Lord appears over the surging water. The Lord's shout is powerful. The Lord's shout is majestic. The Lord's shout breaks the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young ox. The Lord's shout strikes with flaming fire. The Lord's shout shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's shout bends the large trees and strips the leaves from the forest. Everyone in his temple says, Majestic. The Lord sits enthroned over the engulfing waters. The Lord sits enthroned as the eternal king. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord grants his people security. We continue in the first book of Kings, the second chapter. When David was close to death, he told Solomon his son, I am about to die. Be strong and become a man. Do the job the Lord your God has assigned you by following the instructions and obeying his rules, coming his commandments, his regulations and laws as written in the law of Moses. Then you will succeed in all you do and seek to accomplish and the Lord will fulfill his promise to me. If your descendants watch their step and live faithfully in my presence with all their heart and being, then, he promised, you will not fail to have a successor on the throne of Israel. Then David passed away and was buried in the city of David. David reigned over Israel 40 years. He reigned in Hebron seven years and in Jerusalem 33 years. Solomon sat on his father David's throne and his royal authority was firmly solidified. And finally, in the Gospel of Luke, the fifth chapter. Now Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing around him to hear the word of God. He saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gotten out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then Jesus sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we worked hard all night and caught nothing. But at your word, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets started to tear. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats, so that they were about to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, 
he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For Peter and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so were James and John, Zebedee's sons, who were Simon's business partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. So when they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. And don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. 
and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.